नमस्कार सो आई होप यू आर इन बेस्ट ऑफ योर हेल्थ एट द मोमेंट लेट सॉल्व वन मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो वी हैव टू सॉल्व द फॉलोइंग पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन आर इक्वल्स टू टू वाई स्क्वायर सो वट इज आर आर इज बेसिकली डेल टू जेड बाय डेल एक्स स्क्वायर सो हेयर डेल टू जेड बाय डेल एक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू टू वाई स्क्वायर नाउ हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस वन बाय वन वी विल रिमूव द डेल बाय डेल एक्स इन ऑर्डर टू रीच टू जेड ओके बिकॉज in order to remove del by del x we have to integrate because integration is the reverse process of differentiation so integrate with respect to x taking y as constant so we will get del z by del x upon first integration that will be integral of 2y square uh integration with respect to x we are doing keep it in mind so 2y square dx now because a constant will come we don't write that here c we write because y is treated as constant so that constant we write in terms of y 2y square will come out because uh, we have treated y as constant so del z by del x will be 2y square integral dx plus g11 now integration of dx is simply x so in next step we can write del z by del x equal to 2 xy square plus g11 again integrate equation number 2 with respect to x taking y as constant so we'll get z finally equals to integral 2 xy square dx plus integral g1y dx plus again y as taking y as constant so the constant of integration will come in terms of y let's name that g2y now here y is a constant so 2y square comes out integration of x dx is x square by 2 so 2y square comes out and x square by 2 so 2 2 cancel so x square y square is what we are getting again g1y will come out integration of dx is x so x times g1y plus g2y so this becomes your final answer z equals to x square y square plus x times g1 y plus g2 y so i hope you understood this it was again a very very simple question we had del 2 z by del x square so we integrated with respect to x in order to get del z by del x from there on we again integrated with respect to x to get z while integrating with respect to x y is treated as constant and you have to keep in mind that in place of constant c we put any function of y because 
y is treated as constant in both the cases okay i hope you understood this thanks and have a nice day